Recently, I'd been looking at my gear and I realized that I really wanted to buy a nice leather piece, you know, something that I'd use for camping or for bushcraft. And so I started racking my brain as to who I wanted to buy this piece from. And the first mine that popped into my brain was Justin Wolf of Wolf Customs. If you follow Justin Wolf, uh, you'll know that he makes some really nice leather work and some handcrafted items. And so I thought he'd be a good place to go. So anyway, I checked out his website and the first thing I realized right away um, was that he wasn't making any custom pieces at this time. And it's very unfortunate for a couple of reasons, but the main reason being that uh, he actually recently got injured while he was handcrafting a knife. Uh, while he was working on the blade, he slipped and he did some pretty severe damage to his hand and he's in the process of recovering. And so, um, you know, it, it makes a whole bunch of things kind of hop through my mind. Um, first is, you know, this is, um, you know, a reasonably new community for me, the YouTube community in terms of me being, uh, you know, uh, if you'd call it a personality or somebody who's making videos is reasonably new to me. Um, but I've been watching YouTube for uh, years now and especially all these guys that I've been following and, um, you know, I've watched them for two or three or more years. And so uh, over time, you kind of connect with these people. They're the people that become your mentors or you, you watch them for a reason and you believe in what they do. And so it actually means something to you. And when you see these, these guys get hurt, um, it really sort of strikes a chord. And so, um, you know, the more I watch, the more I realize that, you know, we're all out here swinging blades, big heavy blades, axes, knives, uh, splitting wood, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, which, you know, when you first think about it, it doesn't seem too crazy. But um, when you really boil it down, I mean, there's a lot of risk involved in what we do. And so, you know, when you see one of these guys hurt, get hurt, um, it, it really sort of strikes a chord and makes you realize that you need to be very careful. And so anyway, um, you know, just a little uh, segue there while I, um, you know, think about Justin Wolf and the work that he does and, you know, wanted to get a, a nice leather piece, of course, first and foremost is that he recovers and uh, gets back to perfect health. But, um, Anyway, in the meantime, uh, you know, I did want to support Justin. I did want to continue to move forward and try to buy something. And so um, I did find that he had some items for sale. And I'd just like to share with you what I got today. Here's my Gransfors Brook small forest axe. Now I built myself a nice little overstrike guard out of paracord and it's perfectly suitable. I did a decent job. I mean, it's not amazing, but at the same time, it suits a purpose. It's on there pretty solid. And I like it, but like I said, at the same time, I kind of wanted to support Justin. And one of the pieces that he had for sale was a really nice little leather overstrike guard for this axe. And so I'm going to install this. Um, I kind of wanted to show it to you today because he has some nice details in the work that he does. If you look at the edges, you know, these are really nicely rounded out. He form fits this perfectly to fit nice and tight up onto the axe. And so um, the other thing too is he sends nice little installation instructions. Uh, you know, you uh, soak this in warm water and he gives you some suggestions as to, uh, you know, how to appropriately lace it up and to treat the leather with, um, you know, whatever treatment you like. And so, uh, you know, there's a lot of thought that goes into this and some nice design. It's, it's clean, it's custom, um, it's handmade. You know, it's a nice piece of leather, really thick. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this. It's cool that I have a uh, nice little custom leather piece made by somebody who I've been watching for years. And, you know, I appreciate that. And that's kind of what I like about this YouTube community, finding people that have nice little niches and helping to support them so that, you know, they can make a living and uh, take care of their families and continue to do what they love and share with us. So. Um, you know, I'm pretty proud of that and, uh, you know, I, I appreciate Justin and all the guys that I've been watching for all these years. So anyway, just a shout out to Justin. Hope you're doing all right, man. Thank you for your great work and, uh, you know, for sending me this cool little product. So, um, you know, I, uh, I'm getting ready to watch uh, another episode of Alone tonight. I think I'm going to soak this bad boy in a little bit of warm water, get it installed on my axe. And, uh, you know what, I'll show this. Um, later on, maybe, uh, you know, do a, 
little follow-up video on this but uh, for now just something quick to share with you so anyhow um, thank you guys I appreciate you watching um, you know I hope you um, you know understand that uh, you know we're we're doing our best as a community here we're doing our best to give you guys entertainment and show you what's you know what's cool what's coming up different techniques different items um, you know all these different uh, you know things that come with bushcraft and camping and all that so um, but at the same time you know we there is a lot of risk in, involved in um, you know learning these these uh, you know skills and using these tools and unfortunately sometimes bad things happen so um, anyway that's about all I have for now uh, thank you guys for stopping by if you like what you saw please like share and subscribe and as always thanks for stopping by take care now I'll see you soon.